Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. Today, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the 2023 Buick Envision Avenir. As with all of my reviews, I'm going to cover all of the ins and outs and take this thing on a thorough drive. We've got a whole lot of stuff to cover, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start her up and let her run. The Envision is Buick's mid-size SUV, slotting in between the Encore and the Enclave. It was most recently redesigned for the 2021 model year and has had no significant changes since. The redesign is lower and wider than its predecessor, with proportions and styling that's far more expressive. For 2023, there's a couple of new color options available. The Envision competes in a hotly contested segment of premium offerings such as the Audi Q5, BMW X3, Mercedes-Benz GLC 300, Acura RDX, Cadillac XT4, Lexus NX, Lincoln Corsair, and the Volvo XC60. It would also be worth comparing to the Hyundai Santa Fe and the Kia Sorento, which, depending on the trim level, can be easily considered the value leaders of the segment. Starting at $34,795, the Envision is available in three trim levels. Preferred, Essence, and Avenir. All trims come standard with front-wheel drive, with all-wheel drive being a $1,800 option. All trims also feature LED headlamps and tail lamps and daytime running light signatures as well as welcome walk-away lighting animations, which activate when using the key fob. The preferred and essence trims are also available with a sport touring package for an additional $1,495. It includes unique carpeted floor mats, a rear cargo cover, body color door handles, alloy sport pedals, gloss black lower body trim and wheel arch moldings, unique gloss black 20 inch wheels with all season tires, and gloss black roof rails. The Avenir is top of the line, offering unique styling cues and more standard features. From the outside, there's a unique mesh grille, body color lower body trim and wheel arch moldings, unique LED tail lamps, unique badging, and unique 20 inch wheels with a pearl nickel finish. I'll cover all of the interior features in just a bit. There's six exterior colors to choose from, with this example being finished in sapphire metallic, which is a $495 option. Additional options equipped on this example include the Technology Package 2 and the Safety Package. The total MSRP for what you see here, including destination, is $47,155. When looking at the competition, the Envision has an attractive starting price that comes in far under some of the more premium brands. It also has a generous warranty of 4 years or 50,000 miles bumper to bumper and 6 years or 70,000 miles on the powertrain. However, it does fall short in some key areas, mainly driving dynamics and value when comparing a fully loaded example with some of the competition. The Envision is powered by a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder, which is paired to a 9-speed automatic transmission. It's the only powertrain available. The engine develops 228 horsepower at 5,000 RPM and 258 pound-feet of torque between 1,500 and 4,000 RPM. It's built using aluminum for the block and head and features dual overhead camshafts, four valves per cylinder, and continuous variable valve timing. Fuel is delivered via direct injection and the compression ratio is 10 to 1. When it comes to economy, the Envision is rated between 22 miles per gallon in the city and 29 miles per gallon on the highway when equipped with all-wheel drive. 
Front wheel drive models are rated between 24 and 31 miles per gallon respectively. My average with this all wheel drive tester was 25 miles per gallon. And that's on premium fuel, which is recommended but not required. The total tank capacity is around 16 gallons. With all wheel drive, the Envision can accelerate to 60 miles per hour in about 7.3 seconds. That's not particularly quick, especially when compared to some of its rivals, but I feel it delivers solid performance around town. It's just not as sporty feeling as some of its rivals. The 9-speed automatic also delivers solid performance and shift quality and linear power delivery. It's also very smooth, adding to the Envision's refined behavior. The transmission is engaged with electronic precision shift, which replaces a traditional shift lever with buttons and toggles in the center console. To shift, you simply press the brake and make your desired selection. Also in the center console is a drive mode button that lets you toggle between tour, all-wheel drive, sport, and off-road. Tour allows the Envision to run in front-wheel drive for better economy. In sport and off-road, different vehicle parameters such as all-wheel drive torque split, powertrain response, traction control, steering firmness, and if equipped, the continuous damping system is all adjusted accordingly for the different situation. The Envision comes standard with 18-inch wheels on the Preferred and Essence. 20-inch wheels are optional on the Essence and standard on the Avenir. Each trim level has its own wheel style, with the Avenir in particular having a 5 twin-spoke design with the pearl nickel finish. They're wrapped in 245-45 all-season tires. A temporary spare tire can be found in the trunk. The brakes consist of four-wheel internally ventilated discs, spanning 12.6 inches in front and 12.4 inches in the rear. All of the discs are clamped down by single piston calipers. With this setup, the Envision is able to stop from 60 miles an hour in about 116 feet, which is quite competitive compared to its rivals. Despite some front nose dive, which is expected for something like this, body control is excellent. Even under hard panic stops, the Envision stays straight and predictable. The parking brake is electronic, controlled by a toggle button in the center console. The Envision suspension is fully independent and features front and rear stabilizer bars and available continuous damping control. The latter comes standard on the Avenir. 
McPherson struts make up the front suspension, while a five-link setup brings up the rear. I haven't driven the previous generation in Vision to compare ride and handling characteristics, but I thought this example drove well. It's comfortable in day-to-day -day use and makes for a nice highway cruiser. It's not particularly sporty, so if that's an important selling factor for you, it's worth checking out the Cadillac XT4, which from my experience is a lot of fun for what it is. The steering is an electric power assisted rack and pinion setup with cross wind and road shake stabilization. The turning circle is 38 feet. The steering, like the chassis, is set up more for comfort than sport. It's still pretty quick and responsive, but doesn't offer much of a connected feel. However, the firmness of the steering does get dialed up a tad when you place the vehicle in sport mode. The steering wheel is wrapped in leather and is adjustable for both tilt and reach. There's also a slew of multifunction controls that operate cruise control, audio controls, hands-free telephone, voice commands, the heated steering wheel, and a comprehensive driver's information system. On the Essence and Avenir, you have a much larger display in the center of the instrument cluster, where you can view various vehicle information, audio, navigation and telephone information, and various settings. The Envision has quite the stylish interior that offers much of what you would expect out of a premium small SUV. The overall quality and fitment appeared very good. I never noticed any rattles or creaks and there's an appreciable amount of soft touch points. However, I felt for the price of this example that some of the materials and attention to detail could be better. Avenir is where this thing's luxury potential really shines. I love the driver-centric layout of the dashboard. The infotainment system and center stack gently curves towards you to make control access easy. It's all very clean and modern. Plus, with as much technology as you can get on the Envision, it's all so incredibly simple and well thought out. Everything is straightforward and easy to grasp a hold of. On the Avenir, both front seats have 8-way power adjustments. They're also heated and ventilated. The steering wheel is heated too, as are the outboard rear seats. The driver's seat gets memory settings for seat position and outside mirrors. One thing that was missing on this example was power lumbar, which I can only assume was due to a supply chain shortage when this vehicle was built as it's supposed to come standard. Without it, I never could quite get as comfortable as I would have liked. The diamond quilted perforated leather upholstery is a really nice touch. It has a soft feel and featured extra detailing such as accent piping and Avenir logos stitched on the headrests. There are two interior themes to choose from, ebony or whisper beige with ebony accents. Compared to a conventional mechanical shift lever, the Envision's electronic system uses the electric push and pull buttons, which not only amplify the Envision's technology quotient, but it also frees up space under the console. With the preferred trim, you get an 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system. But with the Essence and Avenir, you get a larger 10.2-inch unit. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard across the board, along with a standard 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot, Sirius XM satellite radio, and an active noise cancellation system that surprisingly works really well. There's also an expansive app suite so you can keep track of everything that's important to you during the daily routine. As far as audio systems, there's three different ones. The Preferred has a basic six speaker system, while the Essence gets a seven speaker system. The Essence also has the option of a technology package that includes a premium nine speaker Bose audio system as well as an HD surround vision camera system, a head-up display, front and rear park assist, HD radio, a universal home remote system, and more. All of those aforementioned features are standard on the Avenir. Dual zone automatic climate controls are standard. There's analog controls in the center stack for quick access, but you can also control everything from the infotainment system. 
A standard cabin air filtration system on the Essence and Avenir, featuring an air ionizer with microfilter technology, maintains a clean, allergen and pollution-free cabin. There's even an air quality indicator within the infotainment system in case you were ever curious on the current air status. The filtration system is also optional on the preferred. The Envision is packed with a lot of standard and available active safety features and driver assistance technologies that are designed to help monitor the vehicle's surroundings and alert the driver to potential hazards. In some cases, the vehicle can take action to help avoid a threat. The standard assistance technologies include automatic emergency braking, front pedestrian braking, lane keep assist with lane departure warning, lane change alert with side blind zone alert, forward collision alert, following distance indicator, automatic high beams, rear cross traffic alert, and rear park assist. Optional features include enhanced auto park assist, a rear camera mirror with washer, enhanced LED functionality headlamps, enhanced automatic emergency braking, and adaptive cruise control. As I mentioned earlier, a multifunction heads-up display is available, as is a surround view camera. There's a lot of other stuff packed in too, such as rear seat reminder, buckle to drive, a safety alert driver seat, teen driver, and of course, OnStar roadside assistance. As far as airbags, there's frontal and seat-mounted side impact airbags for the driver and front passenger, a knee airbag for the driver, and roof rail mounted head curtain airbags for all outboard seating positions. The Envision includes seating for five with a roomy second row bench seat. A huge panoramic sunroof is standard on the Avenir and is optional on the other trims. For me, it's a must-have because it allows so much natural light inside and creates a space that's far more open feeling. Like the front, there's soft touch points on the doors, but the lower pockets are only big enough for a small water bottle. Just about the only thing missing back here is the ability to recline the backrest, which certainly isn't a deal breaker, but it is a feature that's starting to become more and more common in this segment. That being said, the seat itself is quite comfortable, and the outboard positions are heated on the Avenir. There's adjustable headrests on the outboard seats and a fold-down armrest that can be used if no one is sitting in the middle. The rear seat should accommodate taller people pretty well. There's pretty good lateral space too, but if you're sitting three full-size adults in the back, it'll probably get a bit tight. I'm 5 foot 10 inches, and I had plenty of room left over. In the back of the center console, you'll find adjustable air vents, the seat heater controls, USB-A and C charge ports, and an AC power outlet. Other rear seat amenities include overhead grip handles, LED lighting, and microphones for the hands-free phone system. Of course, there's latch child seat anchors built into all three rear seating positions. A hands-free power liftgate is standard on all trim levels, which makes opening and closing easier when your arms are full. You simply stand behind the vehicle and wave your foot underneath for a sensor to recognize and open the liftgate. At night, an LED logo is projected on the ground so you can better see where the sensor is. You can also adjust the opening height of the liftgate to make it easier for you to reach or to account for low ceilings. Inside the cargo area, you'll find a generous amount of space. The 60-40 split second row seat has the ability to fold flat with the cargo floor for a nearly seamless transition with the seat backs and a minimal gap between them. One thing I wish it had was a remote fold feature so you can do everything from the back like some competitors, either electronic or some kind of manual handle. Behind the second row seats, you have 25.2 cubic feet worth of space. With everything folded, you have a total of 52.7 cubic feet of space. Underneath the floor, you'll find some additional storage space for roadside assistance gear and other small items, in addition to the temporary spare tire and tire changing equipment. Other cargo area amenities include LED lights on either side panel, as well as cargo hooks. There's D-rings on the lower side panels for easy securing of items, and a 12-volt power outlet on the left side panel. 
a cargo area privacy cover is available. Throughout the interior, you'll also find generous storage. The dual wing center armrest allows access to the under armrest storage compartment without disturbing the resting elbow of the other front seat passenger. A covered storage compartment below the instrument panel allows hidden storage of valuables. If equipped, it's also where you would find a wireless phone charging pad, along with an SD card slot, accessory power outlet, and USB ports. There's a large glove box that features a soft opening lid, open space beneath the floating center console, cup holders in the front and rear, large lower front door pockets, and front seat back storage. Well everyone, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you all enjoyed the in-depth look at the 2023 Buick Envision Avenir. Be sure to stay tuned next time and leave a like down below because it really helps the videos a lot. And if you haven't subscribed already, consider doing so and make sure that notification box is selected so you can get properly notified of all of the new uploads. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.